Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit I don't want to be a shit I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit Don't talk to me, I don't want to be a shit AP on me, cause a bag. Water faucet, she a green light, she a goat. Mac on the fucking dust, the whole need else. About what? Well, I got big fat. Big fat, big fat. And when about it, do shit, yeah. I like the roof and shit, yeah. Try about the roof, crap, yeah. But I got yeah. yeah. my bitch exclusive, and she bougie, yeah. yeah. Woo. Real life, no movie, whole lot of goofy, oh, yeah. A whole couple yeah. of drinks. It's her cavity, yeah. Sippin' on cold and floatin' with no gravity yeah. on y'all. Yeah. All right, first things first is some coffee this morning. I usually do um, a little, one little coffee creamer and then a half and half. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Dr. Leanna. We are in the ChiroFit HQ. I am a chiropractor. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, so the first clips you saw, I usually have uh, a trainer come in here on the weekend, on the weekends, the week weekdays, it kind of varies, um, and just train their clients. I charge them a small amount um, just so they can actually profit. Uh, and they, they train their clients in here and it, it's great because it also brings me business. So it is a very good relationship to have. And that's the reason, whole reason I have this gym is so people can train in it. Um, I'm still considering like I was gonna have um, open memberships if people wanted to come in and train like during their lunch break, but um, I'm still thinking about that if I really want to do I'm, I might do it and just cap it at a small number because the more people I have training in here the more I'm like becoming aware of how much um, responsibility gets put back on me like if people get hurt if they <laughs> you just don't realize the stuff <laughs> stuff that's gonna happen like you just go to the gym you don't realize all the behind the scenes stuff um, but stuff breaks all the time stuff is always breaking um, and so, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's now becoming clear to me, even, I love having the gym and like, I want people to work out in it, but, um, I'll, I'll see about that. I think I'll ha let people have memberships, but just like a small amount of people. Um, yeah, because at the end of the day, everything falls back on me. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Uh, yeah, I don't want anyone to get hurt and sue me, but, um, I have a patient come in pretty quickly here. I actually took yesterday off for a uh, admin day. I had to get my taxes done, um, which kind of took forever because this is this was my first year having a business. So um, yeah, there's a lot more stuff you kind of have to do, but it's it's really not that not that challenging. Um, I had to get like oil change, just adult stuff. Um, but yeah, so got all that stuff. Done. It was it was actually good because I just have been putting it off. So it's good to just knock it out and get it out of the way. And so we were back in the office today, this morning. I got a patient coming in, like I said. And now she's an example of someone that doesn't get adjusted. Like sometimes if she really needs it, she will, but she prefers just the muscle work. And that's totally fine. I think a lot of people think that just because I'm a chiropractor, all I do is crack, 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 send you out the door, but that's not the case at all. I actually just talked to uh, potentially a new client the other day who um, was told not to go see a chiropractor, but I informed her that it's like, I don't have to just adjust you. I can actually work with you in other ways to get you better. So um, that's like the common perception people have with chiropractors is that um, it's kind of like the old school way of thinking. I think chiropractors have definitely advanced in, in what they can do besides just adjusting. So, um, so yeah, I might show you guys a little bit of video of that. Just a quick like time lapse of that um, because it's nothing too exciting. It's just gonna, we're going to do some cupping, Graston, 
uh, hypervolt, that kind of stuff. I did adjust her that the other day though because she fell on the ice and fell on her tailbone, which sucks. It actually really, really hurts. So I adjusted her tailbone, I adjusted uh, pretty much all of her pelvis, her sacrum, all that stuff. And yeah, so that's gonna be basically the extent of the video. Um, I got a lot of other stuff to get done and just around the office today. Like I said, stuff breaks, so I had to fix it. <laughs> you just, honestly, I just, like, you just don't expect that that stuff's gonna happen, but it does a lot. So, um, yeah, that's going to be the extent, like I said. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. Put your questions down below if you have any. And, yeah, let's, let's get to work. Actually, I don't think I've shown you guys any of, really, the updates. Um, I'm still waiting on pretty much this area I'm not too concerned about. This is just like kind of the chill zone. I'm gonna have a couch there, have the love sack, and then we got the coffee station. I still have to get a mini fridge so I can put like Gatorade water, that kind of stuff in there. Finally got the TV mounted. So that's that was a good step. I actually did it and mounted it all by myself and it wasn't it, it's actually I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hard to do by yourself, but um, since I had experience doing it at our house, it was a lot easier. I remember the first time we did it at our, our house, it was an absolute nightmare because we didn't know what we were doing. So, uh, this went a lot smoother because I actually knew what to do and how to do it correctly the first time. But, we got two of the deadlift platforms. I, uh, still gotta buy another stall mat, um, for this one. And these are the stickers. That sticker is actually supposed to go on that one over there, but like I said, it got ripped off from people training on it, so I had to just like glue it back on. But yeah, I really like the the stickers. I think this one I put on a little bit better, so it will actually stay. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure if I showed the sled, but this has been an awesome, awesome addition. Again, from Titan Fitness. Um, yeah, super high quality. It's kind of cool because these handles, you can put them on either side. And yeah, like this was pretty cheap and it works really, really well. So this is the completed deadlift platform. It did have a sticker on it, but like I said, it came off. This is the assembled um, tower, again from Titan Fitness. This was honestly kind of a pain in the butt, like I said last time, to assemble because the directions were just like kind of a free-for-all. I still, I just don't know if I put the cable system together correctly because it goes back down really slow, so I'm not sure. Maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. I'm not really sure. I mean, to me, it's not a big deal, but it's definitely noticeable. So I got most of the plates in. I got four 45s, lots of 25s, lots of 35s. So I think that's good enough for the average, the average Joe. And getting an elliptical, actually. Someone, again, someone just giving me their elliptical because they don't want it. So that's another free thing. Got a fan um, because I realized how hot and gross it gets in here when there's multiple people training. Like it gets, it heats up, especially because the sun just like beats down through those windows. So it gets up to like 70, like I had the, the heat set at like 69 the other day and it like a kid was like, it is so hot in here. And I looked and it was like 75. I was like, geez felt kind of bad so I had to get fans and I cut um, the turf in half so this one used to be 15 feet long just like these ones but I decided just to cut it in half so it fit to the wall and so now I just have a leftover piece but I don't know I might too just buy another one to put there but yeah I think that's most of the updated stuff, it is coming together. The Swiss bar is amazing. It's uh, God, I can't, sorry, I can't remember if I've talked about this in the past videos or not. I'm losing track of time, but um, you can do like pretty much anything with that. Overhead press, uh, bench press, 
do some row back stuff with it. And it's nice because it has the multi grip. So you have more of a neutral grip with like pressing. So if you have shoulder issues, it feels a lot, a lot better. And yeah. And again, it, it's a Titan Fitness and it's, it was not expensive at all. I think it was a little over a hundred bucks, but yeah. Um, I'll slowly but surely add more stuff, but this is like just the basic stuff for now. I think in the next video, um, I'll kind of go through more step-by-step. -step. I said this before, but how I actually made the deadlift platforms and eventually too, I'll kind of break down um, everything I bought and like the total cost for all the the gym equipment. So if you're trying to build a gym on a budget, you definitely can. Like that, all that stuff out there was probably, I want to say close to 2000 bucks, which for a complete gym is really not that much. Um, gym equipment is very expensive. So yeah, but yeah, okay. End of that, I got my patients coming. How's the, the tailbone feeling? It's still sore. Yeah. It just takes time, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm still a little shook about it.